could have predicted the great catastrophe, the devastation from the stars. A once peaceful and prosperous race, Kyrie fell victim to this mysterious and terrible force. Their flourishing homeworld, Chiron, reduced to a planet ruled by chaos and hostility, a blazing desert wasteland dominated by a never-ending struggle for survival. And only those willing to adapt survived. The Kyrie adapted. The Kyrie survived. Radical changes to Chiron created Chironite, a source of untold power. With it, they brought neighboring worlds to their knees. Yet, it would condemn them to an even crueler fate, as they would be forever bound to their Chironite-rich world. A dying planet they so fiercely despised. But another great force was destined to find them. And, with his help, the Kyre would end their fall from paradise and begin their rise from hell. Thank you. Thank you. Fellow citizens, fellow Americans, as we head toward a new age, an age of seemingly limitless exploration, in age of boundless technological progress, we head towards a sea of unforeseeable challenges. Forces, both political and industrial, both local and otherwise, seek to irrevocably tie us to an increasingly globalized world. They seek to strip us of our ideology, our traditions, our way of life. The things that make our lasting democracy so great under the guise of a unified Earth. A single people, a people controlled by an insidious and unseen power. Every step we take toward the future must be a step made with caution, as this power seeks to not only strip us of our sovereignty and the prosperity it brings, but to strip us of our individual freedoms as well. Against this power, we will act. We are Americans, and we will not merely preserve our independence. We will defend it with great... get here? Some professor planted a bomb I couldn't stop. Lost my arm, my squad. Got myself kicked out. for a little more playtime.
You didn't stand a chance. About an hour ago, an unidentified alien force attacked the White House, using some kind of wormhole technology. Tech calls them portals. We managed to mop up most of the outdoor stragglers, but Kamala suggests things aren't going well inside. Your daughter? That's Madam President to you, Shelley. The last intel we received said she'd taken refuge in the safe room. It's hidden behind a portrait. We need you to find it and bring her back. It's time to paint this White House red. Really? This long? I mean, is pushing buttons that difficult? <laughs> Take that! Bombshell, check this out. It'll turn your arm module into a maxi gun. Let's just say it makes a minigun look like child's play. Take your time, soldier. Look around. Don't think of me as a merchant. Think of me as a headshot consultant. Bombs might come in handy right about now.
anyone's out there. They found me. I need help. Military contractor from Phoenix Corps here, ma'am. I'm on my way. Hold tight. Who is this? The name's Shelly, but they call me Bombshell. I've been hired to rescue you, and that's what I intend to do. Well, Bombshell, not exactly what I expected, but you're exactly what I need. Give them hell, Madam President. See you soon. Yep, a picture of the press. Subtle. the sound of an old friend, Shelly. Friend isn't exactly the word I'd use. But only a friend would give you the chance to save your president. The chance to step foot on another world. <laughs> and I'll make sure it's the biggest mistake you'll ever make. You would know something about mistakes, wouldn't you, Shelly? The professor's back. Jadis Heskel wanted to destroy his Institute for Cybernetic Augmentation. Why? Well, he'd experimented on himself. He didn't want the world to find his weakness. Me? <laughs> I'll find it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 